Across the world, an intensive effort is underway to get children out of orphanages. That effort was prompted in part by these images that emerged after the 1989 Romanian Revolution. Back then, many orphans in state-run institutions suffered from cold, malnutrition, and disease. In the late 1990s, there were 105,000 children in Romanian orphanages. Today, there are about 7,000. Romania remains critically important to us because it's likely to be the first country we demonstrate that eradication of orphanages and their replacement with alternative family care is possible at scale nationally. Yeah. Dozens of the old-style orphanages still exist in Romania, with plans to phase them out by 2023. But many orphans now live in family-style homes, where they have their own room and their own toys. But the goal is to place children with foster families. They have good conditions. They are not in need of food, clothes. They have all they need. But it seems that you can never do enough to try to supplement the need for affection that they need from a parent. The European Union is contributing millions of euros to the effort. Non-government organizations are contributing millions more. We are hoping that the, uh, that the completion of the reform of the uh, state orphanage system will be within the next 10 years. Other countries are also making strides to get children out of orphanages. In the mid-1990s, Rwanda's orphanages swelled with children whose parents were killed in the genocide. Rwanda hopes to soon become the first African country to eliminate orphanages. Peter Banda, Associated Press.